Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the testing results for the all new HDLRC FD1103 8000KV motor. Now I've tested this both on a 2SHV and 3SHV and we've also placed some motors here so we can kind of get a little comparison going on. I'm not going to cover every single result here, but the key ones that I usually look at, uh, I'll discuss here. And I also have some graphs to show us the efficiency in comparison uh, between these motors. Now, out of all of these 8,000 kV motors, the HLRC was the only one capable of running a 3S without uh, too much of a smell. So the, the winding, the, the, the material used on the winding is good, but 3S HV might be pushing it if you're, you know, comp always punching out uh, on these motors. So they're, I would say they're meant for 2S HV. You can get away with running them on 3S and 3S HV, but do expect them not to last as long if you're running 2S HV. This is just uh, from my experience, from the testing here. Um, but the, you know, in the field when they're flying, they take less current, so they'll probably handle a little bit better. But it's also good to have that in mind as well. Now the HLRC FD1103, uh, it's it's really efficient and it's actually really comparable to the Geb RC GR1103. They're almost identical in most of the cases. 20, 95 grams of uh, 95 grams of thrust at full throttle. And we see two, you know, even the efficiency is about the same here. So that's pretty crazy. Maybe it could be a rebrand, maybe. Uh, but the GEP RC was noticeably unable to handle the 3S because that thing was, I think we almost burned it. Like it was just insane. Uh, but this one was able to run 3S. Maybe they're using different coatings or I don't know how many layers they're doing on it. But anyways, the HLRC was able to run 3S and I would actually personally push it also in the field. Now, in terms of its maximum thrust, it's really great also. I mean, this is just the average. All of these motors basically perform almost identical. And what I really look for mostly is the 75% area with also the efficiency for that area because that's where I'm usually flying most of the time. I rarely do punch outs unless, like, you know, I'm recovering from some, some kind of a maneuver or something. Uh, but let's actually make more sense of this inside the graph. So this is 50% throttle. The red line here is the efficiency, uh, which is gram per watt. And these lines represent the thrust. So the first two here are the HGLRC right now. Uh, the HGLRC is the only one of these that was tested on a 3S. That's why it seems so high here. So I don't think that's a fair comparison. Um, so we'll just stick to the 2S comparison right now. What we can see is it is really efficient on 2S. And what is it comparable to? It's, as compa it's comparable to the GEP RC as well. This is 50% uh, throttle right now, what we're looking at. The Eashin EX1103 is pretty insane. That thing has the most amount of efficiency, but then again, it also has lower thrust values also. So for example, at 50% here, it was just getting 25 grams of thrust, whereas the HLRC FD was getting roughly 40, 39 grams of thrust, which is, yeah, it was almost double actually. So yeah, you have to keep that in mind. You, you know, you have to find that perfect sweet spot for your setup and find that trade-off. Uh, here we see the HLRC was doing uh, pretty good. Let's see. What is it comparable to? So this is 75% throttle, 66 grams of thrust here. So that's really great. Uh, the Eashin, this is 1104. Let's put that to the side. This is 1103, 7,000 kV, 50 grams of thrust. The efficiency is out of this world, 3.6 gram force per watt. And it's again, comparable to the Geb RC. And um, the only difference is between the HLRC and the Geb RC, in my opinion, is the fact that it just handles the 3S slightly better. And I do I wouldn't hold that to my word to be honest because you know not every motor is created equally and um, you know it could vary. Maybe the Geb RC batch had a little bit higher KV and that's why it couldn't handle or maybe the HGLRC just had better coatings on the windings which is why it's able to handle. Uh, these variables play a really big role but you know the whole idea here is to give you an educated guess and um, understand what we really have. Just put numbers to these as best as possible. Uh, this is full throttle results. And again, it's a comparable to Geb RC, the Happy model, uh, the Eashin EX 1103, 7000 kV, which is also like the Happy model here. Um, it was 3.4. It's still the most efficient. Uh, the Mamba is outdoing most of them, but the Mamba, there's no way in hell I'd recommend you put a 3S on it because that thing will just burn immediately. Um, but 142 grams, you can kind of see the difference here. 142 grams, and it was as efficient, if not more, than the HLRC, so that's really nice at full, at full throttle here. 
And again, props do play a big role. And currently, I'm only testing on one propeller. Later on, we'll incorporate more propellers here. And um, well, that's currently it, guys. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a really quick, short video, but there's nothing else I can currently say about this. Um, and I'm not able to fly every single one of these motors. So uh, hoping this data will help you. And again, everything's linked down below. And come check out my shop. I have really awesome t-shirts. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.